So Alien Hominid Invasion is coming out this year, and I bet you, for some reason, you'd probably want to catch up on the lore again, because yes, all of the games are connected. So I'm going to be talking about the story of the games, but it's going to be very simplified, because the whole point of this video is to say how they're connected, so you can catch up. Well, let's stop wasting time and get started with the video. So basically in Battle Clock Theater, you are a bunch of friends on a boat with Hattie Hattington. He is important for later. But you all go on a boat, and then a huge storm comes in, and then you crash on an island. But this island isn't just a normal island, there's this big theater, and then you go in, and then when you go in, you see Hattie Hattington uh, having a hat forced on his head. This hat is also important. This basically turns uh, Hattie evil because it's controlling him, and then you get kidnapped, and then you become prisoners. And then you do a bunch of levels and parkour, and you know. I'm gonna be basically skipping to the end here. So you uh, basically f like free all the prisoners, and then there's like, you try to get out of there, uh, get out of the theater, you know, get on the boat and leave. But Hattie is like, you know, he doesn't seem right. He, he He's basically dead. The he, he, he's literally dead. So then Hattie gets thrown off the ship and into the water and sinks to the bottom of the ocean. But then the hat falls on him and then a huge laser comes out. Also, just so you know, this laser is really important. It hits a plane, a ship from Alien Hominid, and then it hits a big giant space bear. This bear is also important. So people think that this bear is actually the narrator. And I would also have to agree and you'll see why soon. But then at the end, the narrator says something that is really important too. Yes, a lot of stuff is important, I get it. Oh, I get it. Because of the, yes. It all makes sense now. I'm not gonna be talking about the whole story of this game. Basically, you're playing as a farmer who's fighting for his, to get his son back. And that's really, you're fighting a giant bear. That's really, it's a giant space bear. That's, that's really it. I'm not going to be explaining the whole story. If you want the story, just play the game or watch someone play it. I'm not going to be talking about the lore here or the story of the game. I'm just going to be talking about how it's connected to a battle block theater. So at the end, it shows the two giant space bears. And then it shows us one bear that looks really similar to the one in Battle Block Theater, and it also gets hit by the same laser. So this bear's name is Honey Heart, while the other bear is Honey Kiss, and then they were like a couple. And that they're both narrators of different games. The brown bear is the narrator of Battle Block Theater, while the pink one was the narrator of Pit People. It basically explains how this uh, the narrator is not the same person from Battle Block Theater. And the song, in the end, is actually really important because, just, just, just listen. I love you. And it all makes sense now. Yes, it all makes sense now. So now we know how it all makes sense now, according to Stamper in Battle Block Theater. And then Honey Kiss grabs uh, Haddington from the water and then destroys all the worlds. I'm not joking, he literally does that. But now I'm confused on how Castle Crashers and Alien Hominid are connected because like, where do they take place exactly? They could take place during uh, Battle Block Theater, but like the technology is like way different because like Castle Crashers is like medieval, but like Haddington is in Castle Crashers. And plus, one of the aliens from Alien Hominids are in Castle Crashers too. So like, are they all in the same like time? Like, are they all in the same time? Do they all take place at the same time? Because like, at the end of Battle Block Theater, he sh uh, the laser hits a alien ship that's the same one from Alien Hominid. So now I am confused. The only thing I know for sure is that the laser that Haddington's hat hits is not the one, the exact one from Alien Hominid, the main character's one, because the main character's one was guaranteed, it literally showed it being hit by the, uh, the dudes, whatever they were called again, I don't remember, my memory's bad right now. Another thing I guaranteed know is that Alien Hominid Invasion takes place after Alien Hominid, because Alien Hominid Invasion actually takes place 16 years after Alien Hominid, because it take it took the aliens 16 years to get to the uh, Earth. 
So I think that Castle Crashers takes place in between. It's either in between or during Pit People because it would kind of make sense to take place during Pit People. But both Alien Hominids makes me want to have a mental breakdown because I have no idea where they would go. Would it be the past past, like before Battle Block Theater, during Battle Block Theater? Would it be also during Castle Crashers since the aliens are in Castle Crashers or would it take place in the future? I think I need to actually stop before I have a literal mental breakdown. Well, I have a very dumb and convenient idea. What if you guys comment what you think in the comments, what you think the timeline is? Alright, I'm done saying of how they're all connected and stuff. So, uh, uh I'm gonna be going now. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, I don't really care if you don't. Just please do it. I, I don't really have a reason that I should want you to. Just do it. So I can get famous. I should probably stop now.